Today, I want to talk about the fashion color trends for 2024. And I usually follow the Pantone Color Institute because I think they are spot on with their predictions. And there are other people that you can follow, but they have been doing this for 25 years. And I really love the colors that they choose. And they just announced their color of the year. And so I'll talk about that. And then I'll talk about the color palette, which you are going to love. I think it's very beautiful for this spring and summer. And I'll show you a comparison of the colors for this year compared to last year, because they are sometimes very similar. But if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So I want to tell you a little bit about the Pantone Color Institute. So the Pantone Color Institute puts together a yearly or seasonal color selection by looking into design trends, socioeconomic conditions, art, entertainment industry, technology, fashion, and all areas of design for new color influences. So they do a lot of things, but we're going to concentrate today on the color predictions they have made for the fashion industry. And they get these color predictions from going to the New York Fashion Week runway shows, and also they have a London fashion week color palette as well from going to their runway shows but we are going to concentrate on the new york fashion week colors right now so we will look at their color palette and then we'll look at their classic colors which normally mix and match very well with the color palette and so like i said this is year 25 for them which i think is amazing and i think their predictions are really spot on if you want to check out any of the other seasonal videos that i have done they are on my channel so the pantone color of the year is peach fuzz and i absolutely love the color and i think the name is so cute and they always choose a color based on what is going on in culture so they said peach fuzz captures our desire to nurture ourselves and others it's a velvety gentle peach tone whose all-embracing spirit enriches mind body and soul and a quote about the color from latrice eisman who is the executive director she said in seeking a hue that echoes our innate yearning for closeness and connection we chose a color radiant with warmth and modern elegance a shade that resonates with compassion offers a tactile embrace and effortlessly bridges the youthful with the timeless which I think was a pretty cool quote. Since Peach Fuzz is the color of the year, you are going to see it in both the spring and summer palette and the fall and winter palette. And it'll be interesting to see how it mixes in with the fall colors, but I think it mixes in really well with the spring and summer palette that they chose. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you and then we'll look at the comparison. So you can see that there is a red, an orange, a couple of greens, a couple of blues. There's usually always some sort of yellow and then some sort of pink, which the pinks go a little bit more coral and then peach so i thought that was very interesting we don't have like a baby pink or a vibrant pink because last year the color of the year was viva magenta so i'll go ahead and show you the comparison and you can see how vibrant a lot of the colors were for last year compared to the ones this year a lot of the tones that were bright are a little bit deeper here or even pastels in this year's palette so i actually really love these colors for this year and i think they're going to mix really nicely together which you will see in a lot of the images that we will look at coming next but i want to talk about the classic colors too because the classic colors are very important they are what kind of ground all of the color palette colors and so you will see this year that a lot of them are in kind of the brown or khaki or gray range and there is a white it looks a little bit purple on this page but it's just a brilliant white you know whites are not all created equal so i thought that was really interesting but if you want to compare it to last year's colors you'll see that their classic colors had a little bit more color to them which i thought was interesting this year they're a little bit more neutral which i think is what we have been talking about all last year which is kind of funny um, but we're going into another year where there's going to be a lot of really great neutrals and i love that i'm seeing a lot of the grays because i think gray actually started to be a very popular color for fall and winter and it's going to continue into 2024. So let's first look at some items with peach fuzz because I think this color, even though it's peach, it's so light that it mixes really well with other colors. You can do neutrals with it, pastels, and even vibrant colors. And so I wanted to show you the top and the dress here because I think they are great examples of how well this color mixes with all kinds of other colors. And I think it is really beautiful. And these are items that are out right now. Anything you see in this video will be linked in the description. And some of them are 
more fall items. Some of them are more springy resort items, which I couldn't believe I could find. Uh, but resort is coming. It usually comes out in January, but uh, well, you'll see it late December resort deliveries and then everybody t takes a vacation in January. That's why we're seeing them now. So I wanted to show you a swimsuit that had peach fuzz in it and it's mixed with some more vibrant colors like green and red. And so I thought this was a really pretty swimsuit. If you are in the market for one, this is a good one. But now I want to show it to you mixed with another green in the palette, which is called Watercress. And I'm going to read you as I introduce the colors, I'll read you the description that is on the website for the colors. And so Watercress, they said is a refreshing peppery green with a sprightly presence, which I thought was really cute. And you'll see it here in a pastel dress and then a more vibrant orange dress. So I think we're going to see different shades of this watercress color and I do think it's a really beautiful green that a lot of people can wear and so now you see watercress here and a little bit of a lighter shade and then a little bit of a darker shade so we are going to see different iterations of these colors in clothing but I thought these were really good representatives of this color and then I wanted to move on and show it to you next to chambray blue because chambray blue is a color in the palette which denim has been really popular and this is a brightened denim blue infused with an easy vitality and you can see how beautiful it is it has a bright to it which I thought was really neat and it goes really well with this green and you can see it mixed in these two dresses and I just think they're a perfect match and then here is a dress with chambray blue and white mixed together which I thought this is a really cute dress for spring and summer and I love this color with white and I think it just looks brighter and fun and just makes me really happy and then I put it next to desert flower so desert flower is the color that I am wearing it's a warm engaging pink whose blooms thrive under the sun and so I thought this dress was the perfect shade of it and then it's mixed with blues and reds which I thought was really really pretty so this is going to be a great pink it's a little bit different than we have seen in previous seasons it's got a little bit more coral to it but it's still a good pink so i'm glad to see it in the color palette and i am very happy to see the pastel lilac i don't know if you remember one year very peri was the color of the season and we have seen a lot of purple throughout the season since then and i think it was two years ago that that was the color of the season but this pastel lilac is a soft and powdery lavender hue suggestive of a sweet aroma and i actually found some items that were in a very beautiful lilac color that i thought were great examples of this color and i think this is such a light color it's going to be easy to wear and easy to mix and match and especially with some of these grays i think it's going to be beautiful with and then the browns if we see any browns since brown has been a big color but i love it next to this more vibrant blue hue so they said capri is a bright blue hue reminiscent of the azure colored waters of the blue grotto and i just think that this is probably going to be one of my favorite colors of the season it reminds me a little bit of turquoise but I think it's a lot prettier than turquoise and I think it's going to be very popular among you guys as well and I think it is a very good match against the pinks and the purples and even some of the oranges probably in this palette so here it is if you want to look at it just with the solid background I found a jumpsuit that I thought was really cool and then some pants that were close they're close to the colors you're going to see different shades probably different iterations of what people will do with these colors so I thought these were really fun pieces so now for the red color in the palette which I don't even want to try to pronounce this because I know I'm going to botch it I'll put it on the screen for you but it is a full bodied red imbued with rich woody notes which I thought was very interesting that this color has a lot of brown in it it kind of reminds me of the rust color we've seen throughout the seasons it just has a little bit more orangey red in it and so I found a couple of items that I thought worked really well for this and one the dress is mixed with a yellow which I thought was really pretty and then for the top it's just a print with greens and pinks and yellows and the kind of reddish rust color and I just thought it was a good combination I think it grounds the other colors really well so it'll be very interesting to see how they use this color in the spring and summer 
But I also wanted to show it to you next to the peach fuzz because I found this dress that has that color in it, but the backdrop is more of a peachy pink. So I thought it went really well. And then the top with the blue next to it here, I thought was really great. So I think the color will probably go with a lot more in the palette than I'm thinking. And I think it's really beautiful. I actually would probably wear this color red as opposed to some other color red. So I would love to know what you think of this red. I am not a big orange fan, but I absolutely absolutely love this color and I think it's called orange aid <laughs> I'm not sure if that's correct but we'll go with it and it's a sweet and mildly tangy red orange hue and it has a fruity citrus touch which it is very vibrant to me. I think it's the most vibrant color in the palette. And you can see the items that I have chosen here to show you mixed with navy blue or gray or pink. I think this is actually going to be a very, very fun color. And I think we're going to see a lot of this color. I think we might see a lot more of this orange than we probably will some of the reds. And I think orange has been started to trend upwards. And I really, really love this color and think that it could work with a lot of different skin tones and hair colors colors and I, I think it's going to be really popular so we will see and of course we have a yellow which is called lemon drop and they have described this as sugar coated lemon drop is filled with the zest and so it's definitely a, a zesty yellow I actually like this yellow better than the one from the palette last year I think it's softer prettier and I actually might wear this yellow as opposed to the brighter or deeper shades of yellow. And I loved the things that I found here. I found a resort dress, a couple of dresses actually that were new, that were really pretty. And one is mixed with some other colors, a brighter yellow and some orange. So I do think that this is going to go back really well with that orange color that I just talked about. So I'll show you this dress, which is a really cute tweed dress that ombres down and has that orange in it. And then I found a yellow coat. If you're still in the market for a coat for winter, then the yellow I thought was great. And I think it would transition into spring um, when it's a little bit cooler weather. So love this yellow. I think you're going to love it too. It's gonna to be easier for people to wear and it's going to mix really, really well with other things. So one of the more vibrant greens in the color palette is called mint. And they say it's a cooling mentholated green that is a breath of fresh air. And so I wanted to show it to you next to the Capri color, which was that more vibrant blue. And I really loved these two together mixed in this dress. I think it's really pretty. And then I also loved it mixed with a dark blue, which there is a color in the palette that is called Marlin. And Marlin is an aquatic blue native to tropical and temperate waters. So you can see how pretty these two colors are together and how they mix really well. And you'll see Marlin probably in different shades all the way up to probably navy, um, which navy used to be in the classic colors a lot of times. And there is not a shade of navy this year. So I wanted to show you Marlin here because I see a lot of blue. And I think blue is going to be a very, very big color for 2024. And so I wanted to show you just a couple of cute pieces that are more spring oriented and I think this blue will mix really well and kind of ground your outfits kind of like your denim does and just be a really good shade of blue to wear for the season and now for your classic colors which I'm going to show you a couple of things in just some solid classic colors that I found but there's usually five classic colors one is brilliant white which is a very pristine bright white and then you have a mushroom which is kind of a taupe color then you have a light gray a dark gray called quiet shade and then a color called brush which is more of a khaki hue and so I wanted to show you the khaki hue and the quiet shade because I think we're going to see a lot of these two colors and in solid pieces and then probably mixed in as backdrops and just grounding those colors that are in the color palette so a lot of the neutrals I love and you can wear them together too so think about that if they have a really cool picture of a lady in this dress that it's kind of watered color with all of these and I just thought that was really neat someone needs to design that for real so but, but of course these are the colors that ground the palette and will be the main neutral colors that we will see this season so I would love to know what is your favorite color in this color palette it can be a classic color or a color in the color palette and what do you think of the color of the year and so I hope you enjoyed this I enjoyed putting it together this is one of my favorite videos of the season to do so if you love this video please give it a thumbs up share it and also consider subscribing if you have not yet so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.